check it. Got that in uh, 1994 out of Deadline magazine. It's uh, hung in every studio of every apartment in every city I've lived in. Uh, the Jamie Hewlett sort of uh, oversees my studio, Good Luck Charm. I see sort of Tank Girl Library, the Jamie stuff. This has got some of his all black and white is absolutely brilliant. Fucking amazing, amazing artwork. Some of Ash's stuff, Ashley Wood. Some of Rufus's stuff, Rufus Daglo. This is the very first story in the very first issue. It's a fun one of the actual tank. The little portrait of me, I'm wearing a Keith sweat t-shirt and a little portrait of Alan he's wearing a Belbiv DeVoe t-shirt and Anne does not look happy she's not into this at all this is a kind of a fun the hippie title and then me and Alan as actual kind of hippie guys they like spring into action are about to kill these cops and stuff I got this nice Shot this photo of Chloe jumping. A lot of certain shots like that, I, I use um, photo reference. It's just something you can't really, you know, make up uh, out of your head, or I can't anyway. I drew the pages incredibly large. Uh, I wanted to have a lot of detail on this one, but it's kind of a 60s vibe for this one. Psychedelic and weird. Uh, Tank Girl and Booga drop acid. I, I gave her longer hair and. Um, that's what I like about the characters, you know, she can have different hairstyles, different outfits, and it, it, it all sort of fits because it's Tank Girl, it's, it can kind of be whatever, you know. So anyway, July 18th, first issue, Everybody Loves Tank Girl, comes out, party at Meltdown Comics that night, and uh, we'll see you there. Hey, be, be careful, man. That one's loaded. Oh, you should...